it is an uproar in the United Kingdom. It is the idea of fees and compensation and how advisors giving advice will be paid. Long ago and far away, I went on overseas jollies. I even went on overseas jollies, as they're called, with Fidelity Investments. Full disclosure there. And then there was a bombshell 11 years ago in the United States. It was a quiet press release on March 5th of 2008 that tore Fidelity to shreds over some of the interactions of their people with the incentives of trading and their wealth advisors. Even the giant Peter Lynch was mentioned in the SEC press release. It is now upon the United Kingdom, and the focus is on St. James Place Wealth Management. We are thrilled that Chris Ralph, their chief investment officer, joins us this morning. Chris, the core thing for me as a pro is what has taken the United Kingdom so long? The U.S., not perfectly, but they mopped this up 11 years ago. Why is London still doing overseas jollies in opaque fees? Well, I think this is a very, uh, you, we're looking at two different things here, Tom. We're looking at, uh, uh, at a situation where, uh, where there was a conflict of interest in fidelity between the fund managers and the brokers who were, who were giving them information. Uh, and uh, at St. James's Place, what uh, we have been provided and, and, uh, and what we've now clearly moved, moved forward from is an environment where uh, we, we get our people together in different, in, uh, in, in, in different places to allow them to uh, talk about business. We spend a lot of time talking to them there about uh, our investment management approach, about the way in which uh, they can provide better advice to their clients. And I just think that right. is, you know, completely separate. What would um, you? What? But on the point of so, sorry, Tom, I was going to come back on the point Please. of fees. Um, I, I think the fees are, are are very important. We we have an environment where the uh, qualifications for advisors that are now acquired um, post uh, the regulatory developments over the last uh, 10 years make uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, the necessity of being qualified um, equivalent with an accountant, with a, an actuary. Uh, and therefore, if okay, you look at the fees Chris, that are associated in the actuarial pro profession, know, I, I think they're equivalent in our profession. At Bloomberg News with Shelley Richardson and our team there, and of course the great reporting in the Times of London, this is not about bad people, it's about catching up with the modern structure of U.S. Wall Street. Does the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority, do they need to catch up with the Securities Exchange Commission? Uh, I, well, I think that's up, for the, up to the FCA to, to, to comment on. I, I, what I do know is that at St. James's Place, we have a very uh, regular and ongoing dialogue, dialogue with FCA about all different aspects of, a, of the business. Clearly, I talk to them about our investment approach, but my colleagues talk to them about uh, the way in which we, we remunerate our, our advisors, uh, and, um, it, uh, and that is a, uh, an ongoing discussion, and, and they are very aware of the way in which we have compensated our advisors over a long period of time. And, and, uh, and um, I don't personally see that the FCA is necessarily behind the SEC um, in the way in which uh, uh, it deals with this type of aspect. Um, Chris, has it had an impact on how many people actually you know, um, use your services? Not, not at all. Uh, we had our Q3 results earlier in the week, and, and that showed good positive inflows into the business. The business is still very strong, um, and uh, uh, we, con we continue to deliver great results for our clients. The, the most important thing for me, Francine, is, is, is that we, um, our clients continue, our existing clients continue to give us new assets to manage, and they continue to recommend their friends, their families, and their colleagues to us to have them manage their money. I see clients all the time. I'm doing a client event tonight, and well, uh, what is being written about in the media is very different from the experience the vast, vast majority of our clients have. 